Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Uh, I guess you guys caught me in the middle of working on something. Let me take these things off. Whew. Sometimes I'm a little nuts and bolts with my sausage fingers and my eyes. Uh, yeah, they get a little complicated. So, today we're working on a clutch system for the Ingemar 78 CC V8. Um, so stay tuned, grab your favorite smoke, popcorn, beverage, whatever you want to do, and hang out with me today, and I'll show you uh, my version of a torque light. It's in the larva stage, so be cool. So, <laughs> you see we got all kinds of tools around here and everything, and lots of stuff going on today. Um, now, I've been playing with a clutch for this. And I'll take it off right now so you guys can see. This is a prototype crude built um, clutch that I think will work for all these four stroke engines, including the L400, um, the Toyin V8, and uh, anything bigger. Um, so when I first um, started with this um, I used this clutch here which was in my last video it is the I think it's an SCZ clutch now I removed the springs out of this thing because they were way too heavy for a four stroke and I replaced the springs with springs that I had bought seriously 25 years ago um, I don't know I bought them at Home Depot in their spring drawer and uh, I had to buy them individually one piece at a time and it was like I think I spent like forty dollars in springs that day that was 25 years ago um, today that's probably crazy money uh, because everything has gone up so I found a spring that will work with this clutch it's a three shoe aluminum lightweight clutch with steel shoes on it all right now the problem is with the four strokes the lower the idle, you know, they need they need room to flex a little bit because of the change of the idle. Now, what I have done with this one, I went through probably three or four sets of springs that I had. Um, and the springs that I used in this clutch are the springs that I used when I was building my own V8 engine. Uh, for the valves so I have a limited amount of those springs and um, this clutch is a uh, very adaptable fully adjustable it's got um, in the sides of the shoes here you'll be able to let me turn this backwards here you'll be able to see a little hole in here where you can adjust the weight of the spring so it'll engage earlier or later. Um, so far, that's worked well. Um, now, now that I got that taken care of, it was trying to come up with some kind of a gearbox set up here. Um, and yeah, I know it looks crude. Um, what it is, it's a piece of stainless, um, hardened stainless um, reduction pipe for a diesel. It goes from four inch to three inch, all right? Now, I had to center one of our clutches in here, as you can see. And I had to make little tabs and kind of weld them in here and there just to try it out to see if it's going to work. Um, because when this clutch grabs, um, it wants to twist this housing. So the reason I bought a piece of hardened stainless um, tubing was because I didn't want it flexing. You know, when you, when you get it on there, you don't want it flexing because it's just going to, you know, give you problems. So, this is where I stand now. And when you put it on there and you give it that look. Move my coil wire out of the way. You see, now I have a bell housing looking transmission. Um, that I can add to it from the back um, You know it fits nicely between the lines here, and it looks pretty cool. So 
Now all I gotta do is finish up the a shaft coming out of here and a plate to bolt to the back and something to stabilize because this hangs off pretty far and um, like I'm talking you know probably hold on let me get my zippity doo dah ruler here and I'll show you how far it hangs off the back it hangs off about four and a quarter inches from the back and it's about 1100 millimeters from the block okay and so when this is back here it's going to create a lot of stress here up and down so I'm about to put a mount here that's connected with the engine um, I can't rely on these here yet uh, because these need to be thicker in my opinion but it's a start and the thing is is <laughs> nobody's doing any of this out there I mean I've searched the web to see um, who's doing anything with these engines and I know a lot of you guys have not got them yet but even the Toyin V8s and the L400s um, they seem to be using the 1 10th 1 8 scale stuff you can't use that with these engines um, it's just like I say it's 78 cc's they say it's 5 horsepower um, I say it's more um, but you know I'm trying so I'm the only dude out there that's actually making stuff to fit this stuff like clutches and all this stuff um, I don't know if they're waiting for me to come up with something so they can copy it who knows I really don't care as long as it helps us out in the hobby um, and seriously I've probably spent 30 hours on this clutch in this setup right here just to get where I am now just to test it you know now when I did test it I fired it up at idles fine and it come up about a third of the RPM and the clutch just starts to grab and that's that's where I want to be I that way this I can adjust these here to come in lower or higher so what I'm going to do is inside the clutch bell itself in here I'm going to drill a hole on each side to balance the weight so I can get in there and adjust it then I'm going to drill a hole in the case here where I can go in at, you know such and such turn and adjust each shoe individually so I don't have to tear this off again once I get it in the Blastomy 55 Chevy because um, that's my plan on this um, everybody out there voted and you know I'm glad to hear your feedback um, seriously I think I had last week alone over 900 messages and emails so you know it took me a while to go through those things but you know what I love it and if it helped us out that's cool uh, a lot of you guys have not got your engines yet like I said before but when they come if you have any problems or anything like that feel free to hit me up because um, I can kind of guide you I know this engine inside and out I mean you know the only thing that I couldn't figure out um, on the prototype was where the rotor supposed to go on the camshaft related to that um, which I got mine running pretty good now um, the hull sensors um, you might want to change those out as soon as you get your engine you might be surprised when you buy a good hull sensor offline um, and I will try to find the link of the hall sensors that I bought um, they did come from China um, and it's funny because I buy them about 10 to 20 at a time um, because you don't know there's like every time I get them there's a couple of bad ones in there that are just not on point or they just don't work at all so um, anyways you know through this whole venture here um, I'm trying to like carve a pathway for everybody to come up with something cool that they want to build on their own and you know my budget is kind of down there you know I mean I'm bucks down on my budget here and I spend a lot of money on these things and time and effort and everything else to bring you guys the stuff 
And, you know, I got a couple of people out there that want to throw me under the bus. That's fine. You know, I mean, they don't know, um, you know, what a commitment is when you're working on 15 projects at the same time and you're waiting for parts, you know, or you're waiting for time to put them together. Um, now, hopefully, I will have my Toyin V8 coming soon. Um, or I should say parts for it. And... I, I want to install the supercharger on that just to see, you know, I've been kind of, you know, on the edge of my seat waiting um, so I can play with the supercharger. Um, I have seen a lot of you guys uploaded a few things about the belt system here, you know, in the front with the pulleys and all that. Um, and it bogs down, doesn't breathe well. Um, all these things I'd like to jump in there and figure out, but I can't till I get my stuff and put mine back together. And um, so, if you guys um, can understand, I work a 40-hour week at work every day. And you know what I mean? And it's like, it, it gets taxing for me to come home and jump on something here because I got to, you know, make my own dinner and all that stuff and sit back and pay my bills. And, you know, I got to find time for all that. But it, it's like... But I have to find time to share all this stuff with you guys, too. Um, now, I will give you a sneak preview of something. Um, you know, I'm going to kind of let the cat out of the bag. I have a few engines to test um, coming very soon. Um, so, I can't talk about them yet. Um, one in particular will probably <laughs> blow you guys' minds. Um, I couldn't believe... Um, when I was contacted, um, it's still in the larva stage, but um, I think it's, you know, I love an internal combustion engine, especially a V8 or bigger. Um, like, you know, I, I love the two cylinders, the single cylinders, uh, even the V4 wasn't a bad engine, you know, from Toyin. And then the Toyin V8 came out, and then, you know, the engine more V8, and I've seen these in a v6 version too online and a lot of you guys probably have too um but all these things aside i only have so much time to cram all this stuff in so um one engine that i'm going to do i'm going to devote a lot of time on it and i want to show you guys the ins and outs of the engine just like i did this one here um because i have i have a good feeling about it and i've watched this engine from the birth that when they started it so stay tuned for that um, you know I'll probably put it on my community page um, if everything is cool and it goes through but like I say right now the blast of me build is on um, it's gonna take me a while because I'm doing like four builds at the same time right now and so I'm trying to you know, find time for each build when I can, when, you know, because my head's got to be there too, you know what I mean? Like, if you come home and you're just not feeling it, eh, you know, it's uh, just one of those things, you know? And the weather's been horrible, and, you know, my health has been up and down, you know, like I have my good days, my bad days, um, or I really feel like doing this stuff other days, I'm just taxed, I just don't have no energy, you know? But, you know, I wish I was 25 again right now, because I would probably be working 24 hours a day. I'd be blowing YouTube up with so many videos, you guys couldn't even watch them, you know. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to continue on this. Give me your thoughts. And, uh, you know, like I say, I, I'm i just, I feel like a, a man without a country here trying to do all this stuff. Um, I do get some feedback from you guys, which is cool, and I really appreciate that. But I'm going to continue on with this because this thing needs to be retrofitted to a truck, a car, and a boat. That's the way I see it. It's probably a little too big to cuddle for an airplane. Um, you know, it's just, it's just uh, not feasible for that. But right now, um, I see this as a really good marine engine and a really good quarter scale project engine, you know, for a car or a truck. Um, the cooling is important, which I'm going to move on to that. 
Um, these radiators that we've been buying online are pretty cool, but they're PC radiators for computers, you know. Um, and I do have an idea on that, which I'm going to come up with later. So, anyways, guys, love to all. Like, share, subscribe if you want. Tell your friends. Um, and I will catch you later, man. Adios.